What's up, nail crew? I'm so excited to share this with you guys. But... I have some exciting news to share with you guys. I went and I signed up for nail tech school and I'm so excited to show you guys the little kit that I got. So my teacher told me not to touch anything in the kit until the first day of school because she has to go over it with us. But um, I'm about to bust that packet open today and I'm going to try to pick it, piece it back together so that she doesn't know that I went into it. But um. Yeah, like what what did you expect? Like you hand me this glorious packet of nail stuff, like, oh, I'm busting that thing down. So we got um like a kit of like acrylic and stuff. I'll show you that. We got like um some business card type things and we got some scrubs. Now I'm also supposed to get a textbook, but they didn't have the one that I needed because I'm not doing the whole course, like the hair, the face and all that. I'm just doing the nails. So they didn't have a textbook that I needed. She told me that she'd have it by my first day of school. And if not, then she would order it for me. So when I get that book, I will show you guys what that looks like. But today I'm just going to show you the cards, my scrubs and um, the kit, of course, the kit. So yeah, I'm so excited. Stay tuned. All right, ladies, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is the business cards, okay? So this is what it looks like. She gave me a good stack of them. So let me just pull one off so you guys can see what it looks like. So it has the name of the school. And if I was to make an appointment to do someone's nails, I would just fill in like the date and the time of their appointment and then have them come see me. On the back of the card, it has the address and everything like that. And then of course, you can follow the school on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They also have a really cool, cool website. So this is the card that I would give um, my clients. And I just think it's really cool that on the first day of school, they're expecting you to, you know, start practicing and start bringing in clients. So that's pretty cool. I have a stack of cards. The next thing that we got is some scrubs. It's a very nice purple color. Like who doesn't love purple, right? And I've been wearing scrubs for the last 20 years. So, I mean, it's not a big deal for me to have scrubs. I've been in the medical field for about 20 plus years. So, um, yeah, scrubs to me is like just wearing any other type of clothes. But I really like that this has a nice v-neck that is super cute. And then it does have two pockets down here at the bottom. I love scrubs with a lot of pockets. So that's cute. And then the bottom, here's the bottom. So it has a nice drawstring because the waist on scrubs, like sometimes they fit and sometimes they don't. So I really like when they have the pull string like that. And then they have a side pocket. Not all scrubs have a side pocket. So I really like that. And then it also has a back pocket. So most scrubs that you find, they either have a back pocket or they have a side pocket. They don't always have both, okay? So I found that to be super cool. And then, not only do they have back pocket and side pocket, but they also have a cargo style pocket. Like, yes, right? Oh my goodness. Like, I am really, really going to love wearing these. Look how big that pocket is. Like, yes. I could put, like, all my little brushes in there and stuff. Like... I am ready, y'all. So that is what the pants look like. And I know you guys ain't come here to look at no scrubs. I know y'all ain't come here to look at scrubs and business cards. Y'all want to see this. <laughs> I had to save it for last. I had to save it for last. Look, look, look. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's bust this thing open. All right, so the bag is like a nice thick, nice thick plastic bag. And let's just untie it. All right, so right here on the tag, it has, let's just take that off. Okay. So right here on the tag, it has the company name Young Nails. Like everyone knows the Young Nails. Young Nails is so dope. 
Um, I love their video. I love their YouTube channel. So for me to even be able to like play with their stuff right now, I'm in heaven. Okay. So that's what the tag looks like. And then inside it tells you every single thing that's in the kit. So I'll just hold this here like this for a minute. So you guys can see that if you want to take a screenshot of it, go ahead. But that is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. Okay. All right. So now let's just dig right on in. Oh my gosh, like, I feel like, I feel like it's my birthday. I feel like it is my birthday. I'm just going to go like in order. And the first thing we have is a 50 pack of clear tips, assorted sizes of clear tips. Let's open them. I wonder like how they feel compared to the clear tips that I have. Let's see. Are you guys worth it? All right, they feel good. They're not like super thick. Like I was expecting them to be a lot um, firmer and thicker, but they don't feel bad. They don't feel bad at all. Yeah, they don't feel bad at all. All right, so that's the clear tips. I have to remember the order that this goes back into here because she told me not to open it. <laughs> All right, and then here are some white tips. I don't like white tips. I like clear tips and I like natural clear, um, natural tips. But as far as white tips, I'm really not a fan of them, but I am happy to have them and I will use them to practice. And then here are some natural tips. I love, love, love natural tips. So well, I bet I'm gonna use like every bit of these natural tips and every bit of those clear tips. The white tips, like I said, I'll use it to practice. All right, so what's next? I have a brush. Let's see what size brush. Mm, it doesn't say what number brush. All right, let's see if it's on the package. What number brush? It doesn't say. It just says sculptor brush. Okay, so I have a sculptor brush, and let's see what it feels like, what the bristles feel like. Ooh, soft, okay, nice. All right, so got a cool little brush. Put that right back, <laughs> put that right back. And then I have a dropper tool, and I'm, I'm assuming that this is for when you want to um, pour some of the liquid of the monomer into a dappin dish. And you don't want to pour it because sometimes it'll spill, you'll pour too much, you're not as precise. So you can use a um, little dropper tool like this to pull up as much monomer as you want and then put it into the dappin dish. So I'm assuming what this is for. If she gives us other instructions for this, I will let you guys know. Okay, and so <clears throat> here is the glass dappin dish. So you will just put this into the monomer, squeeze up how much you want and psh, pour it right in there. Okay, so that way you don't waste product. And then what else do I have? I have some sculpting nail forms. Now you guys know I've been dying to sculpt nails on forms. I do have some forms that I bought, but I've never used them yet. So I cannot wait to start sculpting. I wanna sculpt acrylic on forms. I wanna sculpt poly gel, and I wanna sculpt gel on forms. So it's cool that I have more forms to practice with because, like I said, I've never done it before, but super interested in it. Let's see what I have next. I have some nail files. Now, I'm not going to break the seal on here because then she'll definitely know that I was, you know, being a bad girl. But let's look at the type of files that's in here. It is a 100, 100, a 150, 150, and a 180, 180. And remember, the higher the number on the file, the softer it is. So the 180 will be a softer file if you are going to file on the natural nail, and the 100, 100 will be if you're going to file over acrylic or an extension. Okay. So I have three of those cool files. And oh, what is this? What is this? So this is called Swipe, and I do not know, I don't know what this is for. Okay, so the ingredients are basically alcohol and water. So I'm assuming this is going to be 
to wipe off the dispersion layer or that tacky layer after you do a gel extension. I'm, ex I'm assuming that's what swipe is. So let's just open it up. So it has a little thing like that. Yeah, so that's what I'm assuming it is. So I'll be putting this in here like that. And it'll be like a pump bottle with, basically this is alcohol. There's other things in here. But you know what it's like? It's probably like the slip solution that you can get for um, poly gel. I bet that's what it's for. I like the little, the little top. So when that bottle is empty, I'm probably going to save that bottle and just pour my alcohol in it and use this little container for my poly gel. So that is that. Then I have a brush. So yeah, you know, wipe off the dust. Oh, what is this? What is this? Hmm, I don't know. It's a sealer. Hmm, bright sealer. I don't know. I don't know what this is, guys. I guess I'll figure that out. Maybe I'll Google it. It smells like nail polish. Maybe it's a top coat. It might be a top coat. I don't know. I have to look that up. I don't know what that is. And then I have some cuticle oil with a flower in it. What? There's no brush? Why wouldn't you give me, it smells good though, but why wouldn't you give me like a brush? I don't know, that's weird, but um, yeah, rose oil. I'm assuming this is my cuticle oil. It has vitamin A, E, sunflower oil, and rose oil. So yeah, that's gonna be fun to use on my cuticles. And then I have protein bond. Now protein bond is like primer. And whenever I watch Young Nails YouTube channel, they're always using their protein bond and they say it's like the best primer, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I've never tried it. So I am so anxious to try this stuff. Yeah, it's a primer. I'm so anxious to get into this, guys. Yeah. So basically, it's like a super duper primer. And yeah. All right, so now we're getting down to the big bottles and container. So let me move some of this stuff out of my way. I'm just gonna pull out all of the acrylic. All right, so I have five containers of acrylic, okay? So I have, and they're sealed, so I'm not gonna open it. So. I want to so bad. Okay, maybe I'll open one. <laughs> so this is a natural clear. It's a core nail powder. And this one is clear. So I have natural, I have clear. I have white, I have pink, and I have XXX white, okay? So I wanna open one, and I'm gonna open this pink one. Oh my God, you guys don't even understand how excited I am right now. Like, what? So it's pink, supposedly, on here. But when you open it, it looks white. So that did not make me excited at all. Boo for you. It's probably one of those things like when you open it, it's white. But then when you put it on the nail, it turns pink. I don't know, but I'm, def I'm definitely going to do um, some swatches with all these colors. And then you guys can see what it looks like. But not today because I have to wait till I open it with my teacher for the first time. That way she doesn't know that I was being a bad girl. And then I'll play with it for you guys on camera, okay? And then I have this brush on nail glue. All right. And what is this? Nail liquid. So here is the monomer. So like when I was saying before with the monomer and the dappen dish, if you were to just pour it in, it's a good chance that it'll spill and leak and you'll waste your product. So that's when you'll use this. Put it in the bottle, pull up what you want, psh, pour it right in there, okay? And then you'll have like no mess. So that is the nail liquid and that's a lot. 
oh and the thing is like before i signed up for school i ordered um an eight milliliter container of um Mia Secret nail liquid so that I could start practicing with my acrylics. And I was like, dang, then I got this one with my kit. So I'll just end up having extra monomer. And so I have two of those, two things of monomer from Young Nails. And then, like I said, my one from Mia Secret. So I'll probably just use this when I'm at school and then the Mia Secret when I'm at home practicing on Becky. So guys, that is it. That is it move that out my way this is everything that came in my kit like everything you need to do a full set on someone so i'm so 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 excited oh oh i didn't show you guys so it came with another dropper and i think this dropper goes in here i bet that because it was so weird not to have like a dropper or a brush for cuticle oil like come on right so i'm assuming this goes right into here, boom, and then you could apply the cuticle oil like that. But I'm not gonna do it now. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything now because I don't wanna get in trouble on my first day, okay? <laughs> so once I get it all sorted out with my instructor, then I will come back and do a follow-up video and I will play with everything for you guys. And yeah, it's gonna be so fun, I'm so excited. So yeah, just, yeah, just come with me on my journey to nail school and I'm thinking about doing a vlog every Monday on what I learned, especially once I get my book and everything. I'll do a vlog every Monday. You guys can see what I learned. And those of you who want to go to nail school but can't necessarily afford it or don't have the time right now, you can just learn with me. You can learn with me, sweetheart. And then once you're able to go, you'll have a better knowledge of what to expect. Okay, so I'm doing this for me and I'm doing it for you. All right, honey. All right, so yeah that is it guys i'm so excited give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for me like <laughs> show me you're excited for me <laughs> all right guys see you in my next video all right now crew don't forget you can follow me on facebook instagram snapchat and twitter so go ahead and follow me there and then like comment and subscribe on this video I will be sure to post more updates on nail school, so stay tuned for that. And watch these videos. I put them here for you, baby. For you, baby. For you. I put them here for you, baby. For you, baby. For you. Hey.